it's still very quiet. And I think the fact that it got loud and then it got quiet and it stayed quiet, it tells me, it tells me they're trying to work something out, most likely with the Steelers. And I've seen some reporting that would suggest, I think Jerry Dulac of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette at some point on Wednesday, and I've seen others say this too, Steelers don't want to give up a player. Steelers just want to deal with draft pick compensation. 49ers need somebody to backfill. They need somebody because they could have traded him before the draft and gotten draft pick compensation that they could have used now to make the team better now. Nothing makes them better now unless they get a player now. But it just feels like it's heading this way. It feels like it's untenable and unsustainable in San Francisco for Brandon Ayuk. Kyle Shanahan seems to be ready to move on. They could wake up at some point and say, let's just pay the guy what he wants. Let's pay the guy what the Steelers are offering. Thank you, Steelers, for negotiating our long-term deal. Brandon, this is what they're going to pay you. You know what? We'll just pay you that instead. That could still happen. I still continue to believe it's going to be the Steelers or the 49ers, and it got quiet because all these other teams that were trying to work a deal, and there was a lot of leaking that was happening from the teams. I don't think the agent's saying all that much. I think the teams are trying to put a spin on things to justify either not keeping him or not getting him. I think it's down to the Steelers and the 49ers, and we wait. But it got quiet. It didn't get quiet because Brandon Ayuk decided I'm content to play for the 49ers for $14.1 million. And it didn't get quiet because the 49ers decided we're not going to do anything. We're just going to stare across the table from him and wait him out. Something's going on, and people are realizing right now the best play is to say nothing. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.